FHASFR Appraisals HB 4000.1, number 154 Introduction From its inception in 1934 until the mid-80s the Federal Housing Administration. The mortgage insuring arm of the Department of Housing and Urban Development used only appraisers who were specially selected to serve on a local panel of fee appraisers. In 1985 FHA, Farmers Home Administration, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac joined together to adopt a uniform residential appraisal report based on the Fannie Mae Form 1004. It was also in the mid-80s that FHA eliminated the appraiser panels in what was called the Lender Direct Endorsement do, program. Under this program, responsibility for appraisers and appraisals was passed to the lender, along with the responsibility of training the appraiser in FHA requirements in its special forms. There was also the responsibility of keeping the appraiser up to date in changes or amendments to FHA requirements. By the late 1990s it was clear that this system needed amending. Among other problems, it was determined that appraisers were not meeting the FHA requirements. This was especially true for property inspections and report content, because of changes in demographics. The majority of borrowers with high credit scores were financing via conventional sources, while FHA experienced 80% of its insured mortgagers were first-time homebuyers. As a consequence, FHA experienced many problems that were not common to Fannie and Freddie. 1. 2. Lower-valued homes as compared to conventional loans. Borrowers were young and new to the job market having more modest incomes. Caring 3. Many had young children with the expenses associated with for the young. 4. Many of the homes were older and in need of repairs. 5. Many buyers were not well informed and could be taken advantage of by sellers who misrepresented the condition of improvements. The latter posed a special problem for FHA as foreclosures indicated that the properties were not in the condition described in the appraisal report and in fact numerous shortcomings were covered up by cosmetic actions on the part of the owner, investor or broker. In many cases mortgage fraud was involved, with the appraiser often being an active participant. One action taken in 2000 was the reporting by FHA directly to state appraisal boards of egregious errors or possible fraud found in appraisal reports. FHA also considered requiring a home inspection in each transaction, but this would add to the overall closing costs costs which FHA must try to keep low. One option was to require the home inspection, but use an automated valuation model, 